All right, we got Nui, pretty popular character. Um, she she got this red and blue thing going on with weird wings. Um, and a character that I think she she shows up multiple times in like different games. I don't know. She's always up to something. I don't. I'm not an expert, but uh, she. she, she I don't know. Anyway, it's Nui. Uh, her theme, decently long, a little over three minutes. Uh, I think this is a song that's grown, that I didn't love at first, and it's kind of grown on me over time, if I remember, but, uh, let's get into it. Pretty, like, menacing. Yeah, this is very, like, antagonistic feeling. Which, from my limited understanding of the character, I think fits. section new section oh yeah this part's always given me like mystery dungeon 2 uh, uh, what's that place called like late game area the hidden land vibes that's what I don't know that's always what I think of when I hear this part of the song ramping back up. Gone back to Hidden Land. Zoom pits. I mean, it definitely has a very unique vibe, because so few Toho characters are, like, antagonistic, you know. It, it's pretty different to have a character who clearly has kind of an antagonist-feeling, you know, theme, which is cool. But it doesn't, doesn't really blow me away, either. Um, but I like it, so we'll put it there. Alright, tune in next time. We're gonna get into the, uh... The Toho games that are maybe a little more obscure, like, the popular Toho games are, like, 6, 7, and 8 as the most popular. And then 10, 11, and 12 kind of trailing slightly behind. And then there's kind of the rest of them. So <laughs> we're going to get into the rest of them. Uh, it should be fun because I start getting really unfamiliar with a lot of the songs from here on out. Uh, with a few exceptions, like uh, this one, and like this one, and uh, this one. But uh, a lot of these other ones, I don't remember, so it should be fun. <laughs>